Hey everyone, pardon my appearance, but I know I promised this video a long time ago. It is the updated apartment tour. Um, I do have an old apartment tour that I uploaded last year because I was in a smaller apartment last year and then I upgraded to a bigger studio apartment this year and I'm actually going to move in June with Jason because um, we're going to end up living together after we get married to an even bigger one bedroom apartment. So right now I have the biggest studio. I'll give you guys a tour of my apartment. I basically live here Monday through Friday, sometimes on the weekend. It's the weekend right now um, because of the coronavirus. I'm not going home to the Bronx. So this is where I'm staying. This is my little home and stay tuned for the tour. Right now, there's a little corridor when you first walk into my apartment. Um, I like to call this right now the contamination corner. It's where I come in, I strip down, I take all my scrubs off. I have a special hamper for um, uh, work clothes and stuff like that in that closet. So I put it in there. Everything's been sitting for more than three days, so everything should be okay. But um, I try not to go into this area unless I have to these days. But there's basically a little corridor and here is the closet. It has a lot of space. And over here I have a collage um, and a lot of my Instax photos. I still have my Christmas wreath up, that needs to come down. But after you entered through the corridor, this is the view of the apartment. Over here I have um, a little light. This is my intercom and then my full length mirror. And then I have my couch. This pulls out into like a sleeper. It's not a full bed, but um, it's nice. This part basically flattens out and two people can actually stay on here. It's pretty spacious. And I have some nice decorative pillows. Got the pillows from TJ Maxx, couch from Wayfair. Um, then I have this beautiful table. I'm obsessed with it and it totally fits the scheme of my apartment. Once again, it's from Wayfair. It is a little pricey. Don't remember exactly how much, but, um, I love it. And then just some placemats, um, just for when, when I eat and stuff so that things don't get dirty and a little bit of decoration. I have a decorative bowl that my mom gave that fit the theme of the apartment. Then I have my carpet, which I carried over from the last apartment. And this is from Amazon. Then over here, I have a little bit of surgical tape there, but over here I have basically like a little table and a stool. The stool I can take wherever I want. I have all my cables set up there and a fake plant and my TV, which is mounted to the wall. Um, and then over here, I have a little kind of mini alcove. So here I put some artwork uh, that I got from TJ Maxx. And then here's my little Zen corner. It's just a little... Uh, metal thing and it's not very organized right now but I basically have towels and stuff in here and then just I throw random stuff in there that's my sweet sweat and then I have this little water fountain which I love and two empty containers I like to put incense in it and I have my scale and then I have a little closet here I like to keep my winter coats and actually have my uh, drink fridge in here too I'll show you guys uh, I keep all my drinks and stuff in there and then all my coats and stuff. This is the bathroom. Once again, it's very small, so um, organizing it is kind of difficult, making it look neat. But I just have my toilet bowl and on top I have a, a set of shelves and um, I just keep extra products up here. That's a medicine cabinet. It opens up and I keep all my medicine in there. And then this is my sink and I have just a couple of the necessities for now. I keep my garbage underneath and then my cleaning supplies over there. This is my uh, bathtub and shower. Uh, I have my products in here and then some on the side there. And then here I have a little caddy for like all the feminine goods. I have a pair, a box of gloves right here too. And then another scale in here. I have this artwork here, which is from the old apartment. And then I have three um, hooks here with my towel uh over here and then i got these mats from tj maxx as well i love them so then when you face this way you have my vanity which i'm obsessed with i got this set from bob's furniture it's called the diva set and i'm absolutely obsessed with it, it has mirrors underneath and then um this is how i just set up the top and then the cool thing about this is that you can there's lights on all pieces of furniture here. So it happens for my bed too. There's like a set of lights on the side, touch lights. And then it lights up and at night it ends up looking really nice. So this is my bed. It's a queen, part of the diva set. 
super comfy and then a little side table with a fan um and on my side table i just have just random things remote alarm clock uh a little Himalayan salt lamp which i love and then some leisure reeds and some room spray here i have my little spiritual corner i have some murtis and then some incense and i kind of like to like have a little moment and pray here and i have a real plant right here which is kind of uh looking a little sad right now but the sun is coming out so hopefully it can pipe up a little i got this little porcupine that jason won me at some kind of carnival and then here is another almoir um and I actually have a lot of space in here because everything already fit in, in here. So this is another kind of little corridor right across from the bed. And here I have my work table. Um, not very organized. I have a whole bunch of books and stuff here. Stuff for work, my calendars. And then here I have my microwave table. Down here I have uh, some plates and stuff that I use on a regular basis and all my cups and stuff are there. And then here is my kitchen area, a lot of cabinet space. And then this is the countertop area and we only have a mini fridge here. So that's why I have a mini fridge here and then a drink fridge over there. So when you look this way, the bed and the rest of the room is over here. And it's pretty spacious for one person. Um, I love it, but sometimes when Jason comes over, it's a little cramped for both of us. So that's why we wanna get a bigger space to live in next year.